Hey guys, it's Carrie. How's it going? Welcome to the garage. So, woo, what a whirlwind trip. Holy moly. So, I just have some stuff to show you and chat and yeah, that's it. So, while before I left, I ordered some more glue sticks. 24 glue sticks. Woohoo. So, let's put those right there. Oh. About already had a craft a winch and I haven't even started yet. Holy cow, I need to clean up before I play because you know I left out of here in a hurry. And then I got this washi and I want to open it. That feels like a. Is that a ziplock? Yeah, let's get the scissors. I got some Halloween washi because I didn't have uh, but, but two rolls of it, so you know. And this was cheap. It's like 12 rolls for 8 bucks or something like that. I don't know. It was cheap. So they're not, there's not a lot of washi on each roll. But that's okay because I don't plan on using, you know, all of these when I, in my glue book all at once. So, you know, okay. So there's some little skulls with some little hearts those are cute little chevron pattern polka dots oh ghosts with i guess that's just a black dot I had to take my glasses off so i could see it oh look smaller polka dots skulls and bones those are cute oh argyle with bones that's adorable I love that one. Our guy with bones and then some diagonal stripes and coffin and bats. That's cute. Another bat. And then cross hatch. That's cute. I like that one too a lot. Oh, and this one has bats and clouds. Well, have fun. Those are adorable. Okay, that'll give me more crap to add to my Halloween crap. <laughs> oh, you guys, the wedding was, while I'm getting this other stuff out, the wedding was uh, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> the, sh the ceremony was short and sweet, and the... Uh, well, I guess I don't need to show you checks Mix unless you really want to see it. Um, the actual ceremony was short and sweet, but the party and stuff was amazing. And my niece was the most beautiful woman on the planet and her husband now just, uh, he just loves her so much. And it's, it's just a wonderful thing to, it was a wonderful, uh, moment to share with them. I was very glad that we went. I, I told everybody I would have walked if I had to. So, this is in no particular order because I just grabbed stuff. But we got these. Oh, aren't they adorable? Oh my god. For my, for my grandbabies. You know, I'm a little bit of a Sooner fan, but little cheerleader bears. I mean, come on. Stop it. They're so cute. And they're soft. I don't know if the girls will, you know, love the OU aspect, but I do. So that's what matters. <laughs> and then I love sock monkeys, always have. And these were, these little things were on sale at the airport. Isn't that funny? They were at the airport. So they were on sale like half off. So, yep, my little sock monkey. I might hang him from my rear view mirror or something. I don't know. So, and then... I found a mask that has OU on it. It's not near as cool as my sister's, but she's got a really neat mask that has OU on it. So that, yeah, yay. Okay, so that was this little bag. And then, let's see, we stopped at a place um, in Oklahoma called the Cherokee Trading Post, and I have loved that place since I was a little kid, and it's changed a lot. So we got the grandbabies 
some little Native American dollies. <laughs> Those adorable. Their little headbands and their stuff. Oh, I love it. So, okay, so let's see, where can I put these? I'll put that one there and that one there, and maybe they won't fall. All right, so then there's my journal. So I got me a license plate deal that I'm gonna hang in here in my garage. And then I got a Route 66 sign to hang, and I love it because it has the grungy, rustic um, American flag in the background. This was a bag from the store. All right, let's see. Let me pull out these books here. <laughs> All right, so let's look at those and then I'll get back in the bag. Okay, so this was on the airplane. So I picked it up. It's got some interesting pictures in it here and there to use. Somebody had already attempted the crossword puzzle. I just saw that. And the one that I looked at last night, which was this exact one, but in a on a different plane because we took American the whole way. But uh, somebody had done the crossword puzzle in that one too already. So, which is fine. I don't really care. But yeah. So the Sudoku and the crossword puzzle so I got that so that, and then the people the regular magazines I haven't like gone through them yet um, but yeah those are just regular magazines so then um, this was also at the Cherokee Trading Post um, it's just a free little trip guide 2021 trip guide and you know I don't know I mean some of the images are kind of cool it's all in um, black and white but it would be fun for blue books or what ifs and then at the hotel that we stayed at um, they had one of those magazine rack things so like go west so there might be some neat images I love Branson Missouri I've been there several times with my aunt and uncle and so I picked up that catalog because I thought it'd be fun to get some images out of so we'll be doing a a flip through or a harvest I mean and then <clears throat> excuse me of course Cosmo that we'll do later once again let's put these over here it feels like there's we were stuffing things everywhere to bring them home Excuse me. Um, okay, let's see. In my journal, like I have our airline tickets. Um, the Holiday Inn Express did a express checkout, so I just saved the thing. I can tip it in. And then um, here's some flower stuff. Don't stuff the unstuck. There we go flowers from the wedding that I've got smashed in there <laughs> so that I can put them in this book uh, hotel keys and then uh, we ate at this place Lucille's Roadhouse which is on Route 66 and so I ended up with two postcards from there and then the Cherokee Rose which I'll show you this now Rose Rock it says an Indian story tells of how brave Cherokees were driven west by the US government God looked down upon them and forged their tears into rose shaped stones these stones are found only in Oklahoma the end of the trail of tears so when uh, of course it is our Oklahoma state rock is the rose rock I'll go ahead and take this off and I can yep it's uh, barite b-a-r-i-t-e And they just form in clumps and they look like roses. Take one out here, show you. I'm gonna stand up so I can see where I'm at and like, let's get that up there. Yeah, so they're just 
little red rocks and they're in the shape of roses so they're just fun I just thought they'd be nice just to um, you know have at our house so anyway Robin's gonna take a couple of them and I'm gonna keep a couple of them there's the story petal shaped clusters due to the intergrowth of crystals of barite so yeah anyway I'm gonna put that in my journal so those and then let's get you and then this was from the wedding as well um, fierce toast is the last name and they got married then and then they had a photo booth so this is my mom and my sister and I in the photo booth. I have to take pictures of that and send uh, send it to my sister. Do I have another one? Oh yeah, me and Robin in the photo booth just goofing around before it ever, before the wedding ever started. I think that was the day we were, uh, no, we went in there early. I don't know. We were out there a couple of times because of the, getting ready and then party with uh the fierce doses <laughs> those were the beer cups <laughs> and water whatever tea oh yeah and then they gave us sanitizing wipes on every flight and then this is some lavender from the wedding so it smells yummy um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, what's in here? Oh, yeah. This is uh, this is the Cherokee Trading Post get, um, bag, so I'll try to stuff it in my journal somehow. And then Robin got a quartz crystal with the little bag. So it's pink quartz. It's really pretty. And then she got this little leather bag. So this stuff is hers, so I can't have it. <laughs> I can't have it. So I'm going to put her little stone right there in that case so that I don't lose it. And I'll put that right there. So, um, I'll be do I'll be printing some pictures for my creative daily journal, but guys, I mean, they did first looks for, uh, my stepdad and for, because he was, um, uh, res presiding over the ceremony he was you know doing the actual ceremony and then Natalie's dad which is my brother-in-law and the tears from these men <laughs> it was just so wonderful to see you know they're all embarrassed that they cried but I mean come on when you're when your baby granddaughter is getting married and your baby daughter is getting married I mean she was there she's their youngest you know I mean and the only girl for them, I mean, my, um, stepdad, who I call dad, has, um, well, we have other granddaughters and, and stuff in our family, but for this particular, you know, for my sister, this was their baby girl, and my granddad's baby girl, so, or my dad's baby girl, her granddad, so yeah, um, the, the venue was gorgeous. It was just a giant room. They had a Mrs. Suite off to the side where she could get ready. And then they had like a, a Mr. Spot where they could go up, where they were upstairs and had a big screen TV and, you know, they could all get ready up there. And then after the wedding and the pictures were over, Micah and Natalie got to go down into the wine cellar and that's where they like signed their marriage certificate and all that kind of stuff and um then they got to be alone and have dinner and a glass of wine before they came up and the party all started but while they were doing that we were all eating and stuff and the food was great and you know it was it was just so much fun so anyway i kind of have chatted your ears off for and i gotta try to figure out what i'm gonna do with all this stuff and what i'm gonna do next i slept really good last night. I slept good 
everywhere we were, at my sister's at the motel, and at my sister's again, and then last night I slept good, but I mean, I could probably go lay down right now and take a four or five hour nap. It's just, you know, it was a whirlwind. We got there late Thursday, you know, we traveled all day Thursday. Friday we went out and set up the venue. Saturday was the wedding. Sunday we took down all the stuff at the venue and drove back to my sister's house and, you know, just hung out and had a good time, you know, visiting and all that kind of stuff. And then Monday was our travel day again. So, you know, it was a whirlwind visit, but it was well worth being tired and old and all that. And let me just tell you, I drank quite a bit on Saturday night and I can just say that I am not 25 years old anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was tired and I was a little bit inebriated. So anyway, if you liked what you saw, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, I do all kinds of videos. This was just a chatty one. If you've seen my videos before, you know that I've been like super hyped and super excited to go to the wedding. So if you're not subscribed, please feel free to do so. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.